What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In this week's video we're going to be talking about how to put third party libraries either inside of your main library in contact or using the quick load function. So let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is putting the libraries inside of contact, uh, third party libraries inside of contact using the quick load function. So there are two ways that you can get to this window. The first way is going to be uh, opening the um, quick load function which is by clicking this button here and we put quick load you're gonna see this pop out in in contact so now uh, I decided to put it in my instrument folder you can either use the multi bank or instrument folder I just put them in here and then organize them in files so what we're gonna do is you can see I have my main libraries here and then the quick load libraries here so when you purchase a sample library a third-party library that's not from native instruments um, you're gonna see that some libraries don't have the option to put it inside of the main folder and we'll talk about that um, later on in the video how to put in the main folder um, these libraries actually come where you can only put them in the quick load and this happens because of how the uh, programmers from the company format their their instruments so now I'm going to show you how to put third-party libraries into the quick load folder it's super simple super easy I'm collaborating with Sam Windle next week I'll be doing a in-depth review on his sample libraries because they just sound amazing so let's go ahead and put these sample libraries in here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna either right click so I could close this I can either right click and the quick load fo uh, folder will come out or I can hit this up here and hit quick load and I'm gonna go ahead and with this lock button off right so off means that it's not highlighted this means that it's locked and you can't edit anything inside here so I'm gonna unlock it I'm gonna right click and put add folder so again I'm gonna go ahead and start off by organizing my folder set so I'm gonna call this frozen plane because this is the sample library that I am uh, using that's the name of the company and again you can organize it however you like you could put the NKS files in here or you could put them after like I do I just like doing this because I keep them organized so now I'm gonna go ahead and put another folder and I'm gonna go ahead and name it by one of the uh, sample libraries so I'm gonna go uh, I know one of them is called Arctic Arctic strings Right. And then in here, once you've already downloaded uh, the sample libraries, um, you're going to see, of course, the zip file. You unzip it and then you put it wherever you need to put it. I put it inside of my uh, solid state drive. So I'm going to go ahead and open frozen plane. And then I'm going to go to Arctic strings. So instead of dragging the Arctic strings folder, I'm going to open that folder. And I'm only going to drag out two things. I'm going to drag out the samples right so it'll either say samples in this case it says arctic string samples and then I'm going to drag out the instruments that's it I'm gonna leave everything else inside of this folder so I'm gonna go ahead and drag instruments into the folder where arctic strings is and then I'm going to get the samples and put them in there as well and that's it that's how you set it up I just realized I misspelled arctic let me fix that there we go alrighty so now you can see that it's inside of my quick load folder that's it that's all you need to do so if you go to instruments right not the samples right if you go to instruments and then we put um, let's just say the arctic strings I'm, I'm guessing this is the master patch you're gonna see that the library loads up perfectly fine and you can go ahead and play some things and and everything will be okay so let's just see if it's working Right, everything is working. So that's it. That's how you set up third party libraries through the quick load. So now we're going to go ahead and do another example. So we're going to right click. Again, we're going to do it inside the frozen plane folder. I'm going to add a new folder, but this time I'm going to put in, let's see, color form. So we're going to add a folder. We're going to put um, color form, and it's this color form we're gonna open up the color form and we're gonna put the samples folder 
and the instrument folder inside of contact. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one. Go to instruments and they have a bunch of uh, presets uh, that you can go ahead and, and open up. So I'm just going to put bowed bowls. Load it up into contact. You can either drag it or double click it. And that's it. It loads up. Let's see if, it, if we can play some things. As simple as that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about how we can uh, use the library here instead. So the only way that you can put um, the libraries was well, not the only way, but the, the, the common way to put the library inside of the main library folder is if the samples and where you bought it has a uh, uh, they already have the banners made out and all this is organized inside of the library when you purchase it so you could see if it's um, like that because it'll tell you that it's uh, able to download in the native instruments application uh, if it's able to download inside the native instruments application then it's most likely going to appear here in the manage uh, in the library section so the way that you get it to appear here is when you purchase the library they're going to give you a, a serial number but most times it's already going to so this is the native access application it's going to show up in the not installed section so let's assume that you haven't installed it you installed it then it's going to appear in the installed section so all you need to do is go into contact hit the refresh button and then it's going to appear here. So let's say you have some libraries you want to um, disable. You could go manage libraries and you can go ahead and disable libraries. But of course, you're gonna want to keep those because those are the ones you're using. So again, another way to do it is you can go into native access and let's say it doesn't appear in the not installed section yet. They just give you a serial number. You go to add serial and then either by email or if you purchase a program and uh, you get a box shipped to you, you can go ahead and insert the serial number here, add serial, and then it's going to appear in the not installed uh, portion of the application. You install it and then again, automatically, you can either close contact and open it again or you can hit the refresh button here and it's going to appear in the library section. So those are the two ways that you can insert. Uh, libraries into contact so it's either through the native instruments application which will automatically um, put it in your library section here in your main library section or if you have a third party uh, sample library and they don't have the function of uh, having it here in the library and it doesn't appear in the native instruments um, the native access uh, application then you go ahead and use the quick load function and then there you can have um, your sample libraries in there so again from the quick load all you need to do is open whichever one so let's use Majestica again this is one I already have in here you're just gonna go ahead and drag it in it loads up and then there it is alrighty so if you found the information of this video helpful Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. If you have any questions throughout the video, please drop your comments down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you all soon.